Welcome to Bell City Amusements. For more than 65 years, Bell City Amusements has been touring the country, bringing family fun to the masses. Many come for the food and games, but more often than not, the rides are the stars of the show. Iconic rides line the midway, such as the Ring of Fire, the Gravitron, and the Moonraker, which is the only one still in operation in the entire Northern Hemisphere. At each stop, the rides are put through their paces for hours on end. However, when it comes time to move on to the next stop, everything must go, and crew members must begin the teardown process. Crews work throughout the night and into the morning, disassembling each ride and packing it up to be sent down the road to Bell City's next stop. Naturally, some rides will take longer than others, but in less than 24 hours, all 40 of them will be on their way. By lunchtime tomorrow, it'll all be gone. You know, even big rides like the Three Count or the big giant Ferris wheel, it'll all be gone by lunchtime tomorrow. And then by lunchtime Tuesday, it'll be back. back a third of the two thirds of the way up before Charlotte ready ready for inspection and things like that. So. Each ride collapses into a trailer ready to drive down the highway with additional trailers holding decorative panels or other extraneous elements. In most cases, workers will spend the previous night taking down certain parts of rides that only serve a decorative purpose and do not affect the structural integrity of the ride. While tearing down, Mechanics have to be mindful of multiple moving parts. From small pins to large arms that fold into one another, also known as sweeps. As time rolls on, the crews work diligently into the night. The next day, most of the midway has been cleared out and many of the rides are on their way to the next stop. Some rides, however, are more intricate than others. Some rides require the use of a winch to lift and move heavy parts such as sweeps or panels. And sometimes all they need is sheer manpower and a really big wrench. Once all of its bolts have been removed, the giant wheel can be broken down into three separate trailers. Holy crap. Hey, hey lost that momentum real quick. <laughs> Man, these cars dragging in late. It's like a tractor pull the hair. The more weight goes to the front, huh? Now that Bell City's iconic Ferris wheel has been transformed from a 100-foot behemoth to three regulation-sized freight loads, the remaining crews can band together and focus on the few remaining rides. Right, 
back. Don't let it drag. Go back. Alright, everybody jump in here. Once everything is packed up and ready to roll, semi trucks hook up to the trailers and forge ahead to the next stop. Two weeks later, Bell City is at the Charlotte County Fairgrounds in Port Charlotte, Florida, and closing time is fast approaching. At six o'clock, or whatever time I designate as, that's it, we're done. Um, it's kind of like Christmas Day every two weeks. Um, the guys are happy because they get to start tearing all the equipment down. Um, about 15 minutes after I say last ride and we're closed, I've got a two or three drivers, just depends on what people are doing, that will start bringing in what we call dead loads, and uh, we just start going to town. Typically, um, on a good night with good weather and stuff, it takes us anywhere from 12 to 14 hours to, to pack the entire show up. Like tonight, per, per se, it's supposed to be in the 40s tonight. Um, be a little chillier, so we'll have to have uh, you know, a little bit heavier clothes on and all that good stuff. But, you know, the, the steel gets uh, pretty cold and, you know, to drive some pins out and to get the stuff tore down, it, you know, it does play a factor in, in the metals and everything. So, you know, it does take us a little longer. Everybody gets cold and they want to smoke more cigarettes. <laughs> Most rides take three to four guys. If you're a kitty ride, adolescent ride, usually it's only two. Three or four only if you have to move some of the gondolas around. We have a, uh, our giant wheel, which is behind us here. That takes, that takes anywhere from eight to 12 hours to tear down. Let's ride, let's ride. That's a four trailer ride. It takes four trailers to um, put that ride on the road, on the highway so we can transport it. And we also have, um, it's called the Moonraker, that's on the other end of our midway. That is a, uh, also a three trailer ride. Um, and that takes a little bit to get it down. It takes about six to eight hours for that ride to get down. If we had a God to pray to, it'd be Mother Nature. Um, she can make or break this industry, whether you're a traveling company as we are, or whether you're Disney or Universal. When everything's wet, or cold and you can't grasp it, uh, certain jobs become a little more tedious and, and, and safety minded if you have to crawl on a, on a giant wheel or if you have to, even if you're crawling six feet off the ground to hold a bar, I mean, right. water sucks. Whether it's getting things to come apart or getting things to fit together, no teardown night is perfect, and each one presents its own unique challenges. Not the wacky one, fucking tornado. You want to know what the biggest challenge on a teardown night is? Motivation. So we're two and a half hours in right now, right? The bumper cars are ready for a truck. Uh, I'll now take those guys that are doing that and split them up. Uh, three of those gentlemen will go to the ring of fire. Hey, Gator, just let yeah. that car completely apart. Yeah, if I have to, if I can get away without doing it, I will. Dude, just take it apart so there's no time wasted. All right. And the other gentleman that were on the ride, I put six on it for once because uh, I got to get a truck under it so we can get going. And uh, the other three of those six are going to go to the giant wheel and help the giant wheel get uh, start to move a little faster. I'm going in, boy. The way I do it is I sit down on it and let the winch sit on top and you just hold it and let you down with it instead of trying to hang it on that hook. That's going to take too long. One, two, three, go. Woo. This generator right here. We've got wire. In the 
all carnival rides mostly being circles, you have to take into consideration weight. So whether you're working on the carousel, maybe a swing, maybe the giant wheel, or, or most other rides, we call it balancing. Make sure you keep your load balanced. So if I take a tub here off, I wanna make sure I do it straight across and take another tub off. And you just keep kind of stair stacking them until it's all done. Most of the time, if you do your leveling right, the stuff usually fits together fairly easily without a lot of persuasion. In just less than 12 grueling hours, Bell City has been transformed from a full-fledged fair into a fleet of trucks and trailers. However, after laboring throughout the night and enduring near freezing temperatures, work is not done for everyone just yet. The next morning, almost every ride and concession stand is packed up and ready to be picked up as drivers have been working around the clock to transport loads to the next stop. After opening early the previous morning, closing down in the evening, and working tirelessly throughout the night, crew members have been working for 24 hours straight and are driven to complete the task at hand. You know, the, the, the guys, they, uh, yeah, they're one track mind when they, it's time to tear down. They, they, they all work as a team. Most of these guys have been working together um, uh, more than two or two years, I would say, most of them. But um, yeah, they, uh, they all work pretty good together. They, they all know the goal in the end is to be safe and get the stuff down the highway. So. We saw problems that you don't know you have. <laughs> you know what <laughs> I used to be a black man, but hanging around all these white guys, I don't know what the hell I am anymore. <laughs> Got it? 22 hours. Plastic, they make crappy carnies, the but they should make flow. good clouds. 22 hours straight. Yeah. Yeah. Are you the other one? Still ain't done. <laughs> if you want to come and work, we are hiring. Bad steel over here. No cheap labor. Make sure your parents work at a Red Bull factory. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want to rock cheap If you ain't a man, you will way. be a man when you get finished in, in doing here, this type shit right here. here. In there, in there. And if you ain't a man by the time we finish, you might as well put on some panties and walk on down the street and carry your purse. <laughs> <laughs> but this will make a man out of you, right here. Yeah, this damn shit right here is some work. Good. My back hurts. I'm sleepy. I'm <laughs> still frozen. Yeah, we still got an hour to go. Help him down there, Jip, with that one. <laughs> These guys here don't pay him no mind. They've been here for a while. They know what they're doing. They just they just short winded right now. But when they get hot outside, we're ready to go. It's just been working in 50 degree weather every day. But we still got it done, though. We're real carnage for life. I'll tell you that much right now. So but if you decide to want to leave home, midway. travel, see the sights, meet new people, come on to Bell City Amusements. Or Abusements. Bell City Abusements. Or Amusements. You know you want to put it. It's all the same. We're good people. Good show. But you got to learn to love it, or you're going to hate it right away. See, the shit is here. Really here. Got to really want to be somebody and be something in life to ordinary to do what we do every day, seven days a week. It's hell. <laughs> With their next stop only being two hours away, Bell City is already setting up at the next venue, and crew members in Port Charlotte can finally get some rest. Kill it, y'all! Kill it! Kill it! Wrap everything up! It up. Yay, it's over! Woohoo! She's down, she's done. We don't believe in quitting. No, no such thing as quitting. 
With upcoming stops in Plant City and Sarasota, as well as state fairs in Ohio and Iowa, Bell City Amusements will continue this process every two weeks and will soon bring this traveling city to a town near you.